And have a listen to what uh, Ted Turner had to say. This, he's given a speech. Um, this is at the United Nations International Women's Earth and Climate Summit. So it's a women's earth and climate summit. Of course, they couldn't have a men's earth and climate summit. That, that wouldn't even be allowed, right? Because they would say, why are you excluding? What, how could you have a men's earth and climate summit? What about all the women? What are you, a bunch of sexists? But it's perfectly okay to have a women's earth and climate summit. After all, you know, they're, they're women. They're, they're not sexist. It's just the men who are sexist. But anyway, listen to what Ted Turner had to say. I'm, I'm surprised they even invite any men to speak. It should just be women at the Women's Earth and Climate Summit. But here's uh, Ted Turner. Uh, have a listen. Cut number 15. Well, I came up with the idea at least 20 years ago that uh, we needed more, more women in politics. It would take a different, uh, different turn. And I suggested uh, that uh, men be barred from political office. They could do everything else, be president of universities, <laughs> leaders. But they just couldn't serve in any elected uh, position for a hundred years. <laughs> <laughs> he's getting applause. He's he's being applauded for saying that men should not be allowed to hold public office for a hundred years. I mean, imagine if if he had said the same thing about women. We have too many women in office and they can do anything else but let's just bar them let's just pass a law that says no women could be in any elected office for a hundred years you think he would have even gotten out of that room yeah i mean he'd been attacked and of course if it was someplace else, what if there was a men's earth summit you know which of course would be picketed number one i mean i'm sure there weren't any men out there picketing this uh this woman's earth uh climate summit um but imagine if there was a men's earth and climate summit and somebody said, we ought to ban women from elected office. I mean, it would, I mean, this person would be vilified. I mean, if he had a company, there'd be a boycott. I mean, it, 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 it would be huge. They, they might even be talking about it on, on, on the evening news. But, you know, why does Ted Turner think? What does he think women are going to do? How, how is our economy going to improve if we're run by a bunch of women as opposed to men? Is it, is, it, is it the testosterone that screws us all up? Is that why the country's in trouble? Because we have too much testosterone in, uh, in Congress and that if we just had more estrogen there, is, is that it? I mean, is it, you know, men, 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 men don't know what to do? Although I'd be wondering, politically correctness, if we could do that, what about these, uh, you know, transgenders, uh, transsexuals? Would they be allowed in? I mean, if I used to be a man, and I had a sex change operation, could I then serve in political office? I mean, how, what, if, what if you're just a cross-dresser? What if I'm a guy and, and, I, and I dress like a woman? Can I, can I, can I serve then? I mean, how, you know, how, how, you know, how narrowly do they, do they want to define this whole thing? What if I'm a gay guy? Is that close enough to a woman? You know, maybe, maybe, maybe they can make it. How about if we can have women and homosexuals can serve? But not not heterosexual men, because, you know, homosexual men are part of that protected, politically correct group. You certainly can't ban homosexuals from from serving from serving in Congress. But the whole point of it is that you get you get statements like this and they don't really generate any kind of outrage. I mean, because even if he's uh, even if he's joking and uh, clearly right, he's got to be joking. He can't be serious, but you can't joke about it from the other perspective. If you tell, if you say something like this about women not being able to serve, and then you say, "Come on, I was just joking." No, they're they're not going to cut you any slack, you know. In, in you know, when you when you say so, if this guy had a job, you know, and he said something like that, if he was working on the network news and he said something like that about women, that wouldn't matter whether he was joking or he'd be fired. They'd have to get rid of him. You can't say stuff like that.